Well, over 3,000 more four-year-olds will attend voluntary pre-kindergarten in Minnesota this school year. Today, Governor Mark Dayton and the state's education commissioner unveiled the list of districts that will receive the funding, including 11 right here in the Northland. But there are many others that can't offer free pre-K. Reporter Tom Durian explains. This gives them even a bigger leg up on everybody else and really hopefully getting them ready for kindergarten and beyond. Educators joined Governor Dayton. Education Commissioner Casilius to sing the praises of pre-kindergarten programs. This is just a critical time in our education history in the state of Minnesota in order to be able to give every family uh, a break in their pocketbook as well as every child a great start. This map shows how the $25 million in legislator approved funding will be dispersed. The school districts in dark orange applied and were granted funding allowing 3,302 kids to take part in pre-K programs. However, the beige represents the districts that applied and were not funded. Nearly 60% of the 183 districts that applied will not see money. That represents another 6,800 students that would have been enrolled. I will urge the legislature to uh, provide additional funding in the next legislative session so we continue to expand this opportunity for, and my goal is to uh, reach all of Minnesota's four-year-olds or pre-K students uh, in the near future. Our Tom Durian reporting there. The 11 districts for the Northland, you can see them on your screen here, include Black Duck, Cook County, Deer River, Duluth, Floodwood, Grand Rapids, Greenway, Kelleher, Masabi East, McGregor, and St. Louis County. Now, Republicans have argued in the past that in order for pre-K to close the achievement gap between white students and students of color, they would like to have that program to be targeted to families in need rather than 